All right, in this video, I'm going to clean up these injectors. These are from the 1KZTE, which is in my Land Cruiser Prado. You can see that they are pretty gummed up. So I need to clean all this off. Um, basically, the, the engine wasn't delivering power over about 2000 RPM. Um, and it just, yeah, it feels like a fueling issue. Looked at the injectors and they look like this. Um, the other ones are here. They all look the same. Um, so I need to give these a really good clean up. Um, and we will see if that helps solve the problem. I've been running the Land Cruiser on waste vegetable oil, so that maybe has something to do with it. Maybe one of these guys has got clogged. Well, clearly it's very clogged, but um, I might find some more debris inside. So I've dismantled the injector. So you can see um, these are the different parts. This is the uh, nozzle, I guess. Had a wee go at it with the brake cleaner, but I needed to actually remove it from this body to get all the, the black crud off it. Um, these are the internals, so basically got a spring, some kind of seat, and a needle. And I think it's pretty important we don't scratch this up. So I'm just laying it down on some tissue paper. Um, I'm probably not going to scrub these with the brush at all. I'll give them a wee going over with the brake cleaner just to remove any residue or dirt that's on them and then wipe them with the, the tissue. Um, as for these, I'm going to uh, scrub them with the brush. Okay, so I've got all the components as clean as I can get them. Basically for the likes of this, I just cleared the kind of carbon deposits that were around this edge here and actually inside it. So that's all cleaned out. Um, the needle and the seat and the spring, just a, a wee wipe with brake cleaner. For the nozzle, I actually um, used a bit of sandpaper to clean the top down, just so that it's bare metal again. Um, and I've got that really nice and clean as well. And then this bit, just again, some brake cleaner. So I'm gonna reassemble the injector uh, I'm going to use a little bit of assembly lube on this needle just so that it's uh, all nicely lubricated and it's not going to scratch itself up um, on the initial startup. So here's a closer look at the nozzle with the needle installed. You can see it's protruding there. Um, now, the workshop manual says to use diesel when you reassemble it. I've got the assembly, assembly lube, which is obviously a lot thicker. Um, I think it'll be okay to use it. I mean, it'll get washed through after the engines run for a short period, so I think it'll be fine. Also, you can see the part number here future reference within the nozzle. Right, I'm going to stick this thing back together. Okay, so the last step in the assembly process is to torque this top bit in to um, 37 newton meters. So you need a number 19 deep socket um, to get over it and just tighten it up to 37. 
I guess it's quite important to get that so that the, um, the spring in there is set to the right preload. And that's that. All right, so that is one injector done. Um, I mean, it's not full-blown restoration, but the important bit is clean. The tip there. So I'm going to do the same with the other three. And we'll get them back in the engine. All right, that's all the injectors cleaned up. Give you a little view. So I've cleaned the carbon off the end of the nozzle and the needle. So fingers crossed, this um, fixes the problems I'm having with the engine. So now I'm going to stick these back in and fire her up. Got her fired up, and she seems to be running all right. Only problem is I forgot to put the fuel return line on, so uh, I've made a bit of a mess. All right, so I just took it on a quick run and the engine's running a lot better. Um, it was still stuttering, but at much higher revs. So I think that's probably because of the straight waste bed oil I'm running. Um, so I think I'm going to dilute it with a bit more diesel just to um, make it flow a bit easier through the pump. Um, but uh, it seems like cleaning the injectors has certainly helped the problems that I was having. So um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video or have any comments, uh, leave them below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.